In this video, I will be demonstrating my SpaceX style autonomous landing script for KOS or Chaos. In the top right corner of the screen, you can track the fuel usage. Now I'm starting the script in the satellite or second stage of the rocket. Currently it doesn't do very much because of a bug in Chaos that doesn't allow me to control it. However, the first stage works fine. Now the first stage script is running, and we have liftoff. Here in the console there are some interesting stats that you might like to keep track of. So there's run mode, radar, a few things that I'll explain later, and the main thing is impact point distance from pad. That's the distance away from the pad that we would be if the throttle was cut right now and we just crashed down. When the rocket gets to about one-fourth fuel, it'll cut the throttle and release the second stage. I think that'll be about 10,000 meters, or around 400 meters per second, which you can see in this number down here. Now the second stage has released, and the rocket will try to point itself back towards the launch pad and boost its way back. You can watch the impact point distance from pad decrease as it fires its rockets. Now that it's close, it'll try to flip back around and glide back to the launch pad. Depending on the direction from the impact point to the launch pad, the rocket will try to glide towards it, which you can see it's not pointing directly backwards. Directly backwards is indicated by the by the yellow circle, and the rocket's current direction is indicated by that sort of wing-shaped thing. Up here you can see that it's successfully altering its trajectory to a closer impact point. It's pretty much got itself on the correct trajectory, so it'll just try to keep itself on the right course. In the console there's the S-burn disk, which is the third line down, and I think it's about 900 meters. That is the vertical distance it'll take the rocket to go from whatever 270 meters per second down to zero. Ideally, the rocket will fire its engines just before it runs out of time to stop before crashing. And hopefully it gets it right. The rocket also cracks once it gets to the ground to fly directly over the launch pad. And touchdown. With a little bit of fuel to spare. I think I'll be releasing the code sometime soon, although it won't be available right away. Thank you for watching.